I decided to join MMU because the research degree um, program specifically uh, was suited to my degree and I started at undergrad. Um, now I didn't do a master's but at the same time when looking into the programs that were available um, I was so interested from my final year doing a project and really delving into the research aspects and finding out some new things uh, from what I wanted to do. What attracted me to this topic in particular uh, was the fact that I be as I began my undergrad um, in computing, I always had an interest in computing, um, but at the same time, uh, this area of computer vision and finding out new things in that area um, is new to me. Um, a new language, for example, um, but that's the challenge. I'd rather ha challenge myself, find out new things, uh, but at the same time still keep what I began as an undergrad. I'm currently researching um, computer vision techniques to detect microfacial expressions um, when people are trying to conceal them, um, their normal emotions through inducement. Uh, so if someone uh, was uh, induced from happiness, if I played them a happy video, um, they would have to try and keep neutral and keep quiet. Um, but the problem with doing that is that they tend to have a flick of uh, emotion. So they'll have a small smile and that's what we're looking for because they're my algorithms that I will develop novel algorithms to um, cluster each of these emotions so that a tool will be, be able to be developed to flag up in real time when a person that's being recorded um, exhibits these micro expressions. Um, so these micro expressions will be, uh, be able to then be analyzed by humans, by trainers, uh, and help them in detecting future microexpressions when they do it in the real world but at normal time. My most interesting find um, currently uh, is the fact that all um, emotions are universal. So that uh, the research that I've looked into at the moment um, found that even tribes uh, from Papua New Guinea who never met with Western cultures um, found that rather than being culturally learned, uh, the expressions themselves are uh, innate, so they are. Um, evolu uh, they, they've been, they've gone through evolution, and uh, happiness to someone in the Western culture is the same as someone in an Eastern culture, or in fact, someone who's blind from birth also exhibited the same um, emotions as someone else when they were told to think of um, a really happy moment and, sh and think of a really angry moment and the expressions were the same across all um, of these cultures. The applications for my research in wider society would be um, to be able to analyze how people um, are exhibiting their emotions in the real world. For example, in a security sense uh, in an airport, if someone is looking very fearful, but at a micro expression level, Someone in a security personnel may not be able to detect that. But my algorithms will hopefully be able to flag this up to security behind the scenes, say that this person is fearful. And then the person that is uh, reviewing that footage can be like, right, why? Go to him, pull him to one side, and delve deeper into that. Hopefully to reveal something uh, that is normal, that they can go on their way, but at the same time, we'll be able to stop them if they're going to do, cause harm, if they were holding a concealed weapon, for example. I found MMU quite challenging, but from a sense that's good for me. I really like to be challenged, and I've had a lot of help from my supervisors. I've had a lot of help from the postgraduate team uh, from when I began three months ago, and I really enjoyed um, the steps that I've taken so far um, because at the end of the day if you aren't in a challenging environment um, you shouldn't really be doing a PhD. The academic staff that I've um, been working with currently um, I found that they've had a wealth of knowledge. Um, I've been able to go to them when I've had a problem and they've known the answer or they've known how to tell me how to find that answer 
by myself because it is about researching, it's about learning by yourself and learning that independence. So I appreciate that when they don't give you, if someone didn't give you the right answer, there is a reason for that and it is good for that and I appreciate how they really push that method forward so that you as eventually come, become the um, expert in your field. The facilities at MMU are, I've, I've not come across any that are better to be honest personally because they really are just always available. I can access them from home, I can access them um, from almost any day in the week, including weekends. Um, and if I need software that's for my personal use, uh, for my project, um, all I have to do is request access and I have them within 24 hours. Um, I also have um, even used the IT helpline, for example, um, which has been extremely useful and they've always they've responded once again within 24 hours, uh, which is extremely helpful when you are in a computing environment when a lot of technical things can go wrong and even go right, but still not quite as right as you are.